What's up, people of the internet? Mega Zombie here. More Pokemon Sun and Moon off screen. I actually did beat this trainer because someone wanted to trade at me. So this time we're gonna start off right here on what is this Route Six? Ah, uh, well, I don't care. <laughs> so let's battle with this hula hula lady. We are supposed to be going back to the Dimensional Research Lab, is what I remember. Yeah, whatever the name is of that place, and she's gonna send out Ori Corio. Okay, let's send out Aqua. Not Pokemon I really wanted to pop out against an Oricorio, but since it's level 17, we could take it out. Maybe one shot, two shots. Whichever is good for you, God. Whichever is good for you, dude. Sorry, Oricorio. We just gotta make our way. Hey, so let's level 20. Cool. Oh, Celeste levels up at level 20, I'm guessing? That's cool. Wow, very the very beginning of the episode. Not even like, what, two minutes in? And we're already having an evolution. That's cool. Now we have a Steeny. That's nice, Steeny. Oh, you don't learn anything when you evolve? Or, uh... I guess we wait for this, all this. Neat. This Pokemon is always bouncing around. Exactly, other Pokemon are attracted by its lovely appearance and pleasant aroma. Ah, it does learn something. Double slap. I want to want to take out for double slap. Uh, user uh, become friends and fight loses what a fight. So it's hard. Okay, let's take out this, and I don't really want it. Yep, took it out, rapid spin. Don't question me, just, you know. Alright, be on my way. Oh, that was the final stretch? Okay. I guess we'll be on our way to, uh, the Dimensional Research Lab then. Hey, Lily! Oh, Nubby, you, you splash against some trees. Huh? I was acting like I was Himari. Really? You you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon, tra Pokemon trainers, or thought that I would want to be for myself. But when I see, saw Himari and How, it's like they they throw open some door that I always thought was closed. That strides straight through, through into the, the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Pew! Oh! Um, oh! Himari, hello! Feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensional... The, the dimensions, did you know? And a professor is waiting to meet you. How are your trials? It must be quite, quite trying to do three in a row. Uh, it really, to be honest, it was no problem. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of the Akala tri Island Trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you took took so content and understand by, by Brion there, I mean. Wait, 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 what? Right. Wait. Is there anything around? Ooh. Of course. You cannot hide things from me. Okay, apparently you can. I saw this. I saw this about dimensional research. Huh? That reminds me of something I heard about of some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. Isn't that, uh, the, 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 what the heck is his name? Hoopa? Isn't that Hoopa? Anyone can tell you that after all, there's nothing upstairs. But yeah, that guy just, uh, well, I can't click on the door. I have to actually click on a button. Whatever. Take me to the only floor. The third floor. Hey there, honey! Nani? Oh, hi! Hey! This is Professor Burnett. Burnett, 
She runs a dimensional research lab, yeah? She's also my wife. Hey, isn't that the lady from the Pokemon Dream Radar game, 5th generation? Didn't see her since 5th generation. You're Himari, right? Lily told me about you. She, she said you were a rival sort. Three months ago, found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog and her bag also unconscious. Hmm. Know how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the, be real someday. He could even become a Kahuna. It's like his old Awa. Before... You really think so? Whoa! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought you Mari here because I wanted you to tell her about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then, you gotta mean... The Ultra Wormholes! Whoa, snap. Red letters and everything. It's extremely rare, but sometimes in a hole... Sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormholes. Hmm, if they even are Pokemon. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? In the Pokedex, what? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appear from the Ultra Wormholes went way beyond that. They've killed people. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the Guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know, know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying... By stunning the dimensional disturbance, a hey, I don't know about you guys, but that's a nice smile. I don't know, that's a nice little Luffy One Piece smile to me. Something, this is nice. Just, I don't know, man. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in the lab. Oh, okay. Uh, let's read them up then. Bronzong. It brought. Brought reigns by opening portals to another world. It's, it's revered as a bringer of potential harvest. Uh, let me see. Is this another one? Garatina. Okay, that's quite the jump there from Bronzong. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is distorted and strange. You could say... Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. That's not the same thing. It's total control over the boundaries of space enables it to... Transport itself to a faraway places or even other dimensions. Palkia. Oh, you want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I want I want to learn more about Nebby. I mean, Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett, but I got lost along the way and ended up wandering until I collapsed on the shore. Right. Whatever. She listens. She listened to my stories, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origin, too. Professor Burnett has been kind, and she's been still helping me, trying to find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Hmm. Isn't that some? Mama Burnett. Burnett, whatever. I'm going to check out Dicko Tunnel next. It's a, it's a whole cave made of Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. If you use, if you use a battle team, you can only... Uh, yeah. I'm not competitive, dude. If you use a verse recorder, you can not only rewatch old Link battles that you had, you can even hold mock battles. Don't really care, dude. There's a man named Mon. Mon? Who years ago published his theory about the Ultra Worm. Wait a minute! Isn't Mon the guy from the Poco Palago? Wait a minute, why, what's, why is he important all of a sudden? Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Inter Dream Zone. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the, uh, the, the, the Dream Radar thing. Yeah, that's, that's that. We recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions and books. Oh yeah, I guess you just said the same thing.
Okay. What, can I get over here? Oh. There are many writings about an interdream zone that exists between reality and dreams. Oh. Guess all her research about the dream radar things up there. There are all photos of Professor Burnett and Professor... Oh, isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? Is that nothing else to check out here? Uh, I guess not. How about that, Imari? Ultra Beasts are really out there. I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of the college trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia and the Island Kahuna. Here on the call of the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Dicker Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. But watch out for Team Skull. Team Skull. Whatever. I also have some things I want to talk to Professor Brent Man about, so I'll stay here. I'm going to check out Dickler Tunnel next. It's a whole game in Pokemon, right? Yeah, we just, yeah, whatever. Well, you guys have nothing else to say, so I'll be on my way. Later. We'll just go to, where are we going next? Dickler Cave? Dicklet Tunnel? What? Wait, what? What? What's going on? Well, hello! Hi! Space wormhole thing? How you doing? What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. But the sky can't crack. Unless White Bear uses his powers. Whatever. Hey, Mari! So you made it through all the three captain trials, yeah? And you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Dickler Tunnel. Dickler Tunnel was... Well, let's see. From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past it, though. So keep your eyes peeled. I know where it is. Now it's my side of time for me. Well, you do that. I'll just be on my way to Dickler Tunnel. Now, it's right in front of the Pokemon Center, so... Yeah, real hard. Real hard to miss. Whatever. So you got Brion up? What? What? That was Olivia and Ether Foundation. What does she got to do? Hmm. Oh, Himuari, wasn't it? This game really is something, you know? It's overflowing with all these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. I ain't no mediocre trainer out there, the knave. So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. All of the crystals. Oh, look at you, Himawari. Nice work. I see you've even passed Milo's trial. It's about time you had some fun. Hung with me. The Dicklet ha have settled down, too. If you are as strong as, as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks, Miss Olivia. Oh, crap. Our Royal Pokemon. Alright, what do we got? Too bad. What? 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 what I wouldn't have thought of anything else, you know. All right. I'll just do the ye old switcheroony. Well, not the switcheroony, but let's just use a repel. Wherever they are. Where are these darn repels? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, super repels. Screw that. Use those. All right, fighter. Well, I guess we don't need to battle him. Looks like you would follow trainer. Use Z battle full force strength and fullest. Whatever. See you later, dude. Ooh, some rocks. I can destroy. Tauros. Firestone. If only I had a Pokemon that evolved using the Firestone on me. Do I? No, I don't. What's this? Eat their foundation? Phew! With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those, those ticklet. Oh, Alola! We're members of the Ether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. Seems like Team Skull was responsible also for the diglet in the cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the surface. Oh! Team Skull is a group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight and interfere with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. 
We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the are still stuck on the near surface though, so be careful. They don't seem evil to me. I mean, that first scene in the game told otherwise, but... Yeah, they don't seem too evil to me. Oh, darn it. Toros not being able to go through small cracks. Oh, I don't feel like battling you. I guess I'm, again, I guess we're going to need the strength equivalent to get past that. All right, trainer, battle me. Dig a hole. Uh, dig a hole? What? Yeah, still just say anything. After so many years of Pokemon, trainers to still say anything. Alright, you have two Pokemon. When are we going to run into some regular trainers with like a full set? Well, where's the guy who has like a full team of Magikarps? Where's that guy? You know? Or a full team of Bruxious... Uh, you know, the water type of this reason. Or a whole team of wishy wa Oh, that'd be terrible. If they have school form. If they have that school form, that'd be terrible, actually. Never mind. But they have a, it's just not two Pokemon. At least have them a little bit, you know, the level's a little bit higher. But, you know, the, uh, the challenge is still in the game. Whatever. All right, beat this guy. Maybe they should do that thing they did with Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness and just have everything be double battles. But that kind of be... That be crazy at some point. Work through Brutal Force. Yeah, whatever. I mean, the double battle thing worked for those games, but... Then double battles first come out in that generation, so... You know. Hey, my child, we get to destroy you with disarming voice. Boop. Alright, what do you want? Alright, disarming voice, and... Get popped. You survived. Of course you survived. What the... Wow, was that... Is that size with toss? Wow, the animation for that looks it's freaking cool. Of course, I haven't seen all the animations for all the attacks yet, so. I mean, that right there, like a Z move in itself. Whoa, 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 hello. Zygarde piece. It's down here. Ooh. But do I... Am I that desperate? Yeah, let's just get it. Dust ball. I don't want anything in here to catch. But it's good for Pokemon in, to catch Pokemon in the caves. I'm pretty sure some legendaries or those Ultra Beasts that we obviously going to be able to catch after this game are going to be in a cave. Go! Or maybe they're going to be roaming. Roaming legendaries. Let's bring those back, you know? Well, Romy legendaries are kind of annoying. Unless you're lucky enough with a quick ball. Or you cheated and had like a bunch of master balls on you. Hooray, Kaluk Clay, we one shot at it. Wait, did he have another Pokemon on him? Nope, he sucks. Get out of here. Uh, we gotta make our way all the way back around. Alright. This cave isn't huge, is it? It might not be huge. Whoa. Right through the wall. Okay, let's make our way. What the? Oh, no way! This one thing was starting to heat up, yo! I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo! Yo, since one Diglett used beat up. <laughs> I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't get mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be right here now. He might. 
I honestly don't need your help, how? Whatever that word is. I was wondering who who, <laughs> who you were playing around with without me. And it's Team Skull. You want some? That's how you say hello? Nice knowing you, punks. Uh, the Team Skull girl was just kind of there for moral support. She didn't say anything. She was just kind of there standing. Okay, let's uh, let's we can destroy them. Yes, land it and fall my tees. Unique for you guys. All right, go. You and your goddamn Pikachu will screw you. I have freaking Alolan Raichu. You don't. He's probably gonna get one, isn't he? That's why he has a Pikachu, right? But well, screw that guy. I had one before him. Now it's time to kill the Fulmatees. Razor Leaf. No, 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 no! Huh. Man, you don't take a lot of damage now, do you, Aqua? Hey, guess what Aqua has? You have your quick attack. And I have my acrobatics! Yeah. Flying type attack on a water type. Didn't expect that, did ya? Darn grass type. That I'm not sure is actually good in battle. I never use one. Hey, you're learning magical leaf, so. Yeah, look, I don't really care. Maybe that was a really bad idea. Whatever. I'll fix it s sooner or later. If I want to. Yo, step off! Enough with the beating up, yo! We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the flip side! Hey, Mori, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just gotta give you something. Max Ether. Max Ether will store all the PP to one of your po one of your oh, it's that Pokemon's move. You know, pretty great, right? Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have some more fun with those Tiglet. See ya. You do that. You do that. What? Run out of the cave? What? what I will. Short and sweet. Huh? All right. Why can't I talk to him? Why can't I talk to him, little guy? Wait, whoa. If it's not urgent, could you come back later? Sorry, but I'm on break right now. Screw you, you darn cop. You ever get lost? Check out the town map. Yeah, sure. Town map. I'll make sure to do that. Whoa, what did you stupid cop? I heard I had cases, but I'm so bored. How about a battle? Why don't you battle your bros in there? Well, besides the one that's on break, he's a dick. Growlithe, that's a generic cop Pokemon to have in this series. Intimidate. Okay, you lowered my attack, but, uh... Get Bubble Beam, son. Wow, Bubble Beam has slowly become one of my favorite moves. At least, like, probably get, like, I don't know. Do you get Surf at some point? How do you, how and when do you get Surf? Well, screw you. Whoa, is that lady you want to battle too? If you're going to Coney Coney, you gotta stop by Coney Coney. I will shut. Oh, wait, what? Is this where it is? Whoa, this song. Whoa, this town. It's so Asian. Looks cool. It looks small, but it's cool. Hey, there's a, sh there's a clothes shop. Huh? Did that probe pass his bow to that deli bird? So Asian, man. Before that, clothes shop. What do you guys have? Is 
You got some. 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 The heck do you have besides these? Wait, what? Well, oh, you got pants too. Oh. What? Well, uh. Uh. You know, I'm gonna get to customizing off screen, and I think I'll see you all in the next video. See you then. Because, you know, I'm it's going to be a while for this one. So, you know, again, see you on the next one.